Afternoon, folks. It's uh, Thursday afternoon. I think is it the 29th, babe, or the 30th? 29th. 29th September. Just past the vulcanizing shop. We took to get my tire fixed a couple times, but uh, we found a new place in San Marcelino. Anyway, uh, Lady Jazz and I were heading to Subic to Baltimore. We got a few items we got to pick up down there uh, before we head back to uh, the Lupa which is the land. Um, Got to pick up some hardware pieces for the uh, uh, the gentleman. I think it's Jimmy, right? Call you Jimmy? Yes. He's the guy that digs a, he's going to dig the well for us in the back of the house. We need an 80 foot well dug and then uh, piped and then uh, et cetera, et cetera, and so forth. So when the plumber Arthur comes back, he can uh, hook it up to the house and test everything for us and make sure everything's good to go. So we're gonna, she's texting a few hardware stores now. And uh, I think we're getting ready to stop by the Eyes Constructions hardware store. There's the, uh, it'll cost you for a Kubo here quite a bit. You can get air conditioned Kubo there for, oh, about six months ago, about 120, 125,000 pesos. You go in the opposite direction, there's a place on the side across from a uh, medical clinic. I don't know exactly where it's, I know where it's at, but I, I don't know other, any other landmark than that. You can get it for half that price. Buy a Kubo with an AC in it. So okay, I'm getting ready to turn left here where the red sign is, with his vans pulling out. Hopefully he'll keep pulling. He'll keep pulling so I can park, but we'll see. Nope, okay, so I'm gonna have to park in front of him up there. Let me go up ahead a little bit. Of course. Of course. Oh it's, the timing is always perfect against me. <laughs> I kid you not, folks. If it, anything bad can happen, will happen to Mr. LaRoc. Okay. All right, folks, let me stop and back up. Hang on. AYDZ Construction Supply. This is where we stopped here. They have the one item that SYY Hardware does not have over in San Antonio. So we're gonna pick this item up, it's about 180 pesos. And then we're gonna head on back to Subic, or down to Subic. There's Lady Jazz over there. This place is located directly across the street from uh, the President McSaisai Childhood Home. It's like a museum now. They changed the color of the house. It used to be what I called McSaisai Green, which was a brighter green color. It's now more of an olive green, which I think it looks much better, especially with the white trim. I would add a little bit more trimming on somewhere else, but that's okay. That's me. But anyway, this is where this is his childhood home here in Castalejos, uh, Zambales. And directly across the street is the AYDZ Construction Supply. We've used them several times. We've had to go to a, a whole bunch of different hardware stores because it seems like not one hardware store has every item that we've needed in our build of the home and even in the home we're living in now. See, there it is. Museum R Ramon McSasai. There you go. Okay, I just wanted to show that. I don't even know if it's open yet. It's been closed for the longest time. Okay, folks. Ides. Mm, Ides again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where okay, we're uh, leaving uh, Baltimore down here now in Subic. Picked up what? A couple of items that we needed couple things that we wanted. Now we're heading back to AYDZ Ides Construction Supply because they gave us uh, part of what we were looking for. So there's another piece we got to get. Uh, we talked with the plumber. And so we're going to go, that's on the way back anyway. So just going around here from the back side of Walter Martin, letting Jeep me come in. Uh, let's see here. This is the usual route out. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I remember when I first got here back in January and we came down here. It was like a ghost town. That's when the COVID lockdowns were still on. Uh, not as serious as they were from a year ago or so. 
but still. But now it's uh, a lot of people here, and usually right around lunchtime or at the end of when school lets out, there's a ton. I mean, a ton of high schoolers coming from across the street and the buildings over there, over here to shop, get snacks, walk around, hang out, and stuff. So it's kind of cool. I like seeing people out and about and mixing again, socializing. So. Let me get over here and I'm going to be going left to the right just to continue on through Subic, Barrio, Barreto and on to Longapo. And I'm going to go left here. Let me pull out. I've learned not to be meek. Kind of pull out in front of everybody. Okay. And then Thank just you. keep going. Sorry about that. I was looking everywhere. Uh, yeah, I've learned to do that here because if you wait, uh, no one's going to let you in. It's rare. You might one out of a thousand might stop and let you in if you're lucky but usually you just kind of kind of you know when as traffic allows pull out slowly in front of them but deliberately in front into the road to stop them and then uh, cross over and do the same thing when you get to the other side whether you go right or left it's just the way you have to do it um, I don't know why I'm driving and holding this phone Lady Jazz has two perfectly good hands, but you know, <laughs> now she's reaching for it. <laughs> but anyway, I wasn't going to record much. I just wanted to record the exit out and crossing the street. So we're heading back to Ides and then on to the Lupa. So until then, ciao. Hey, we made it to the property here. It's 2.49 p.m. And they're skim coat and putting the skim coat on. Rebar to the left, Brother J to the right. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Looking good, looking good, looking good. It's always good to see progress, okay? The end is in sight. Just noticed the plumber hooked up a, some wiring, or the electrician out of the one, all the way piping. Hopefully it's going to get straightened out somewhat there, at the bottom of the white down there, you see that? Have a look-see. Making their way top to bottom, that's good. Glance over here. We'll pause and head inside. There's quite a door running electrical piping, conduit. How you doing, sir? Over there, they skim. I can't remember if they skim coated this yesterday. Man, my days are really running in through me. I think they did. But anyway, if not, I'll just show it again. I'm gonna go upstairs, there's some hammering going on. So we'll go up and see if we can get what we can. I just wanted to show this here, the electrical distribution box here panel. We're gonna change all this out because we had a discussion yesterday about I wanted a refrigerator upstairs, there's another freezer gonna be here, there's a generator gonna be here, so we're gonna pull this box out and basically replace everything. This is the the first guy that was in charge of this project uh, who called himself an engineer. Put this in there against the recommendation of the foreman and the electrician. So um, they just, they told me yesterday about this. So we're gonna replace this whole thing and put in there what's supposed to be in there to support all of the appliances and everything that we have here with all the PCs and everything else that we have. Okay, the corridor is working his best to get all this stuff done. I think it's about a little over 2,000 pesos to replace all that, so that's about the cost we're looking at. Okay, I made my way upstairs. See all the conduit running here. I'm going to put another electrical outlet here so we can use this space if we want to plug something in over there. The light switch in the, in the hallway now, the stairway. There. I said the family yesterday. Boy, uh -oh. man is uh, cutting up the tiles for the wall, the master bathroom. And we've been told there's not enough tiles, so somehow or another we miscalculated. So we're going to go get our list and compare it. James is chipping away the floor. See what it looks like so far. We're gonna have to make a turn like run real quick here. 
Okay, they just started with that. All right. Look at here, I didn't even realize this. They put in the, the tiles for the walk-in closet. Ladies first. being paged. Oh my god, they completed this. This is a box here the light and the fan. Okay, I just wanted to get away from some of that noise when he had the uh, Barreto chopping down hard and then uh, Nelson over in the corner down there chipping it with a nail and some They're basically chipping up the rough spots of the floor. They're going to uh, smooth it out and uh, make it more smooth so they can begin laying the tile. That's what they're doing, stomping it up, breaking it up the big pieces and the rough pieces and they're going to smooth it out and then, so they can lay the tile down. That's what the purpose of that was. Okay is uh, what I got is interpreted via Lady Jazz. All right, folks, ciao. Okay, also we're confirming with the foreman, uh, the tiles we bought was, was not enough for the, for the comfort rooms. Um, we bought like six boxes and uh, I guess our calculations when we are at City Hardware were a little short. So we're getting the appropriate count now and we're going to have a measure downstairs again as well and the outside CR to make sure so we'll one more trip to Tarlac one trip only hopefully but um so that's what we're doing here now just confirming that we've ordered uh, the materials to dig the well for 20 foot pipes and uh, coupling, coupling reducer and we need to get another motor and we need to get a at least a 500 liter tank that's around 300 something gallons i guess i don't know I don't, math is not my strong point but anyway so we're doing that and we're just getting other materials that we need and order them get bits and pieces it's all bits and pieces now okay uh some places we had too much some places we didn't have enough uh we just you know doing the proper calculations and recalculating and get in here and because changes were made and then so that's that affects the um the uh, the math when you change the numbers you change the math right so that's what we're doing now over here and we're just uh, steadily moving forward uh, more progress every day so okay enough of looking at me and I'm uh, taking about as much video as I can and uh, they're just doing the things you're doing now it's just tedious and takes a while so just we're moving forward ever forward all right guys thanks for joining us ciao Oh, ciao, bye. <laughs>